This spring, Operation 3 Gridiron takes the field with new characters, new maps, a new tour of duty, and a brand new mode, Gridiron. Gridiron is a high energy take on the classic Gears of War single life mode. The concept is simple. Two teams square off to grab the flag, and whoever can get it to their opponent's end zone claims the round. First team to score 13 points wins the game. But when every life matters, every choice, every fight, every push is critical. Come here! You want him? <laughs> you got him. Augustus Cole, Thrash Ball star and Delta Squad veteran, brings his unstoppable energy and personality to the battlefield. Yeah, Use Cole's ultimate while roadie running to drop a flaming trail that causes blistering damage to every enemy it touches. The original grub killer, Clayton Carmine, is back. Yeah. For his ultimate, the seemingly unkillable Carmine becomes impervious to bullets and deflects them back at his enemies. Come on, shoot me like you mean it! Behold the fury of the Locust with Queen Mira and her Theron guard. The fiery queen will make her opponents tremble as every one of her kills results in a powerful incendiary effect. The Theron guard are elite Locust troops whose headshot kills produce devastating explosive damage to nearby enemies. The new operation also brings new maps. Set in the Galangi Islands, Pahanu is simultaneously wide open and claustrophobic where a thick jungle and ancient ruins offer unique cover options and multiple ways to fight. We've added two more maps to one of our most popular modes, 2v2 Nashers. Annex features two paths to victory, choose wisely. Fight for glory in the ever-changing layout of Arena. Operation 3 also sees the return of the iconic map Canals. Watch out, Nashers and long shots can be anywhere. The tour of duty in Operation 3 Gridiron gives you new challenges and free earnable content to show your style. Whether you play as a hero, or a villain, or just want to flex, we've got you covered. So squad up and take down everyone in Operation 3 Gridiron. On planet Sera, things were not always peaceful. Year after bloody year, human settlers fought each other in the Pendulum Wars, a brutal struggle for control over a new energy source called Emulsion. After eight decades of conflict, a coalition of ordered governments emerged triumphant. However, victory by the Khan did not bring peace, because a new threat was coming. Just six short weeks after the end of the Pendulum Wars, Locust! the vicious Locust Horde erupted from underground caverns, slaughtering everyone in its path. Locust troops have breached the courtyard. We're on it! What became known as Emergence Day was the start of a new conflict, one for which the human race was in no way prepared. Imagine that. Serving as a gear in the COG army, Sergeant Marcus Phoenix became a fixture on the front lines of the Locust War and a legend to other gears. Well, that's one thing we agree on. For 10 years, Phoenix fought in battle after battle. His stature only grew when he was imprisoned for disobeying orders after a futile attempt to save his father, Professor Adam Phoenix. I've come to get you out of here. I've got to save my research. Four years later, a desperate cog put Marcus back on the front lines. Welcome back to the army, soldier. Humankind was losing ground every day. They're flanking! Only one stronghold remained, the capital city of Jacinto. Then, on a mission into the heart of Locust territory, Phoenix made a shocking discovery. The Locust Horde was actually fighting a two-front war. Exposure to the emulsion energy source had transformed ranks of the Horde into a new threat, the Lambent. These monstrosities had been attacking the Locust for years, and so it became clear. Emergence Day was not an invasion. It was the Locust's attempt to escape an even more deadly foe. They're desperate. All this time, we never realized that. Realizing humanity would never be able to defeat both the Locust and the Lambent by conventional means, I'm sorry. Phoenix proposed a radical solution. We need to sink Jacinto before the Locusts leave, not after. By sacrificing the last remaining human city, 
Oceans would flood the underground caverns of Sarah, wiping out the locust civilization. Two years later, human, locust, and lambent survivors alike battled for resources on the surface. <laughs> so much more diplomacy! Marcus was sent on a new mission after a mysterious message revealed his father was alive and in desperate need of help. I need your help. Fighting across the shattered ruins of Sarah, Marcus eventually reunited with Adam Phoenix. Marcus. Lambency, Adam Phoenix revealed, was caused by the emulsion energy source. It's not a fuel, Marcus. It's a living organism. And so Adam Phoenix had developed the ultimate weapon, a countermeasure that would eradicate emulsion and the lambent threat, and in the process, end the locust once and for all. There's too many! Hold them off! Just hold them off! In a brutal final confrontation, Marcus Phoenix fended off the vicious locust queen as his father readied humanity's last chance at survival. The plan succeeded, father and son triumphant, simultaneously wiping out all emulsion, lambent, and locust everywhere on Sarah. But this time, there was a terrible price to pay. Adam Phoenix had used emulsion on his own cells to study their devastating effects. And soon, father and son were torn apart for a second and final time. Alone and mourning, as the world celebrated the end of the Locust War, Marcus Phoenix saw little hope for the future, and nowhere left to go. But after some time, Marcus started a new life with fellow soldier Anya Stroud. Eventually, they had a son, James Dominic Phoenix, better known to his friends and squadmates as J.D. As the decades passed, the coalition of ordered governments reformed itself. Human civilization began to rebuild, and the Locust War became a distant memory. Now, 25 years later, J.D. Phoenix has become a warrior in his own right and has uncovered a new threat, a mysterious race called the Swarm. J.D.? J.D. doesn't know what these creatures want or where they came from, but he knows he won't be able to face them alone. Dad! Once again, war has come to Sarah. Once again, a phoenix will rise to fight it.